Good afternoon, Provence lovers. Good afternoon, bon après-midi. It is Tuesday, 1.30. Welcome to Live Life Provence. Welcome in my kitchen. It is time to do our weekly cooking show. And today we are going to do a dessert. It is our fourth cooking show this month. And so we made an appetizer, main entree. We made some ratatouille, veggie side. So now it is time for dessert. You're in France. So, you know, well, I'm, I am making you travel to France with my cooking shows. Well, I hope so. You know, we can't end a meal without something sweet. So dessert time it is. And um, today we are going to do a soup de fraise. It's strawberry soup. It's strawberry season. We're in the South. We are here in Charlotte, even if, you know, Live Life Provence can be found anywhere in the US. Um, on the livelifeprovence.com website. Um, and, but you know, it is almost summertime. So strawberry it is, strawberry season it is. Let's go, let's do some strawberry soup. I am using my thermomix as usual, you know me now. Um, if, you, if you want to do that recipe, we will share with you um, the ingredients and the steps. And you can absolutely make your, uh, the, the soup, strawberry soup with your own kitchen appliances. Now, if you want to know more about the Thermomix, you can absolutely contact me. I would be very happy to answer your question and make you discover the Thermomix. This being said, let's go cooking. So we need just a few ingredients. It's super fresh, very flavorful, very, very nice. So what we need, sugar. 100 gram of sugar, and I am just going to use my integrated scale and watch for 100 grams. So here we go. You will have all the ingredients again, um, and the steps and the recipes on the livelifeprovence.com website. And have a look, because really, so many nice ingredients. I'm thinking of the first cooking show we had already four weeks ago. Um, it was a tapenade we made. So have a look at all the olives, they are just so wonderful. Tapenade, tapenade in a jar. You can find that too. So plenty of things, olive oil, everything. So 100 grams of sugar. We are going to close my thermomix with the lid. And 10 seconds, I am just going to grind my sugar. I'm going to make some powdered sugar. This is it. But it's always nicer to make it from scratch because you don't have any side ingredients that you don't want in your powdered sugar. So here it is. I'm going to show you my powdered sugar, how thin, oh, can you see how thin it is? <laughs> it flies. Now it tells me to add eight to 10 leaves of fresh mint. So it can be more fresh because I just um, picked it up in my garden. My leaves are a little bit little, so, um, so I, I have, a, I think more, and I really like the, the, the bad, well, the mix of uh, strawberry and mint. So if you don't just skip it, you know, if you like, like me more, you can put a few more leaves. So now, oh, strawberries, I'm going too fast. So a thousand grams of strawberries, that is uh, two pounds, two pounds of strawberries. So I, I haven't, um, I haven't uh, helped them just like that. Strawberries, ooh. I've been doing so many things with strawberries lately. I love, love, love strawberries. I can't, and especially now they're so flavorful, so colorful, uh, it's very enjoyable. So I have my strawberries and I'm going to fast again. I need some lemon juice, freshly squeezed lemon juice. So I just squeezed my lemon juice. Um, it says the juice of one full lemon. So my lemon was really big, even if it was organic. So I'm going to just, you know, a big splash. Um, now I can insert my lead back and I'm going for just 30 seconds. I'm going to speed 10. So I'm going to mix everything together. 30 seconds is all it takes. So I just have um, strawberry, I have sugar, I have lemon juice, and fresh mint leaves. Very few ingredients. Oh, it smells so good. Oh. It smells strawberries everywhere in my kitchen. Yeah, it smells so good. Strawberries, oh, strawberries 
scent in my kitchen. My soup is done. Dessert is not done yet though. So I'm just going to show you how beautiful, beautiful. I mean, that color, it is just amazing. It is, mm, oh, mint strawberry. It is so bright. I love it. So let's, because it's not done. This is the soup. But when, you know, in France, we like to make things a little, thing, sorry, um, a little bit more complicated. So here we go. I am just going to take my other mixing bowl here. And I'm going to make a little kind of a mousse that we will place like, you know, a scoop on top of our soup. So you know every, everything now. But anyway, I'm going to show you how easy it is to make like, like some witchy, well, whipped cream. But it has a little ingredient to make it a little bit more special. So 100 grams of sugar. I'm going to place a tiny bit less because it is fine enough sweetness with the strawberries. So here we go. Sugar. Next, insert the measuring cup. So we're just going to do just the same. For 10 seconds, we're going to grind and make some powdered sugar. 10 seconds, it's all it takes. Whatever almost the amount of sugar you're placing in your mixer. So this is a great tip to make powdered sugar in the future. So now it tells me to oh, scrape down, but I don't have to scrape down anything. Can you see how light my powdered sugar is? All right. Insert the butterfly whisk. So if you don't have a Thermomix yet, uh, you can use, I don't even know the name. I am so sorry, but you know, that hand uh, kitchen appliance to with the two rotating things, um, whisk. Um, don't do it with a manual whisk because it would take forever. Uh, but use or, or use a kitchenette, whatever. But with a the thermomix, I just have to insert my um, my butterfly whisk. It tells me to insert half a vanilla bean, the inside, the seeds. So right now, the vanilla beans are uh, very rare and expensive because of that disease the vanilla uh, trees had in the island. So I do have that vanilla powder. Um, if you have um, like vanilla extract, it's fine too. Whatever is vanilla flavored. Next, 250 grams of mascarpone. And this is, where is my spatula? Ha, oh, it's gone. Here it is. Um, this is the special ingredient in my cream, in my whipped cream. So, mascarpone cheese i love i love mascarpone cheese it comes from italy so you know provence is close to italy of course um it gives some nice flavor to many many meals it's really nice very very easy to found um to find sorry i i like to buy mine um at trader joe's to be honest here we go mascarpone cheese 250 grams i just place you know the whole uh, the whole thing. Now, 100 gram of whipping cream. The secret, my friends, is to place cold. So I've been <laughs> keeping my cream with ice cubes because I don't want it to turn into butter. So when you're um, whisking your whipping cream, always be careful either at the sound it makes or um, or just watch, you know, because you don't want your whipping cream to turn into butter. Insert the measuring cup into the mixing bowl lid, and then for one minute, it is going to whisk my two, three ingredients. So we just have sugar that we powdered. Why did we powder it? To have it light. We don't want any uh, granulated pieces of sugar in the whipping cream, uh, in the whipped cream, sorry. We have some whipping cream, as cold as possible, and we have some mascarpone cheese. This is it very flavorful actually if you want you could when we grinded our sugar you could add a few leaves of mint it would make a mint powdered sugar um, mint flavored powdered sugar and it would be very nice you know adding a little bit more and even a little greenish uh color to the whipped cream that would have been an idea oh it's almost done actually i'm gonna have a little pick Yes. 
So it's going to be a thicker whipped cream because of the mascarpone cheese. I'm going to check if, oh yes, oh yes. And I've already tasted that recipe, of course, and it, it's very nice. So this dessert, so you can see my whipped cream. I am going now. Dessert is almost done, almost ready to be eaten. Um, yes, there, this recipe could be also done, and I will share that recipe as well with some Baume de Venise wine. So this wouldn't be for kids, of course. This one is kids uh, friendly, uh, but it, it gives a little flavor that is really interesting and pairs very well with the strawberries. So I'm gonna pour this way because I want you to see how beautiful, beautiful my soup is. So you have to imagine yourself in Provence, of course, because we're traveling to Provence today and it has been a hot summer day um lots of sun you know you've been walking i don't know wherever you know um in in some uh olive trees field and you know it's time for a nice dinner it's the end of the day and you just end your day you wrap your day with that very nice oh let's see here you can see better uh you wrap up your day with a very nice dessert facing the olive trees fields or, or lavender bushes trees this is this is Provence, my friends. Here it is. So you just make a little, it's, it's a thicker whipped cream, so it's quite easy to make a nice scoop. And I'm gonna show you, here it is. So strawberry soup with mascarpone whipped cream. Um, it has some flavors of mint. It is sweet, but not too sweet. It is super flavorful. It is super colorful. Bon appetit. Um, I hope I made you travel a little bit to Provence. I will see you next week, next Tuesday at 1.30. And because we'll be beginning the month again, we might start again with some appetizer, who knows? I will see you next week. Have a great day. Please have a look at the LiveLifeProvence.com uh, website. You will travel. Just even, you know, browsing the, the website, but also picking up and doing a little bit of shopping because truly amazing products. I will see you next week for more cooking um, with my Thermomix. Yeah, see you next week. Have a great day. Bye.